Welcome to my guide of how to use my digital patterns for cosplay. Here's my Sheba Tail pattern. You can see it has all of the markings already on it. It's already split up into sections. All you need to do is hit the print icon, go into more settings. So underneath scale, select fit to paper. This is so it prints to the correct scale. I'm just going to go ahead and print all but the first page because the first page is just information. You only really need to print the following pages after it with all the pattern on it. If there's anything confusing, then I also send you a PDF with a printing guide written on it. It may look a little bit different depending on what you have ordered from the store, but it roughly explains just what I'm explaining now. Last of all, you can see this one also has the Sheba guide, which is step-by-step -step guide of how to make the Sheba tail. So here we have the printed pieces of the pattern. On each pattern that is separated, you will see these scored lines, and this is where you want to overlap each page. These are A4 pages, so you gently lay the page just on top so that the patterns line up. You can see the lines run smoothly into each other. Next, take your tape and scissors, and we're going to start taping those edges. You want to be gentle whilst doing this, making sure not to knock your pattern too much, so you sellotape it nice and straight. You can see I'm trying to keep the lines matched up as I'm taping. Don't worry about taping the outside of the pages too much, because this will be cut out later. Here's the complete tail all sellotaped together, now we're going to go ahead and cut it out. If you'd like to purchase this template, you can find it on my Etsy store Fennec Fem. It is for a Sheba tail. So now we have the tail cut out and we're going to cut down this middle section for this particular pattern as well, because there is a line drawn there and piece one and piece two, meaning we need to cut it to have two separate pieces for this particular pattern. Now this is one side of your template. To get the other side, simply flip it over and draw it onto your material and you'll have both sides of your tail. Thanks for watching.